Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com, in case you've forgotten. And um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to um, create dialogues, simple dialogues. And uh, the motivation for this is that at the moment, this application produces an image. And the idea is that the user can set um, a password, or if you like, a pass points on this image by clicking certain points. And then they have to click the same points um, in future once the set of points is set in order to access the notes screen where they can save their notes. And uh, I want it so that the first time the application runs, a dialogue comes up that says um, something like click four points um, one after the other in order to set the pass sequence, something like that. And uh, I want this to be a dialogue and not a toast because the toast might disappear before the user's even really given their full attention here. And then they might just think, what on earth is this? And, you know, sort of touch it randomly and set the pass points by accident. So I don't want that. I definitely want a dialogue. So I, in my image activity class here, I'm going to add a new method, which I'll call, let's call it uh, private um, void. Um, let's say uh, create or maybe show show prompt that should do the trick show prompt and because that's what we're doing we're prompting the user to set their uh, pass points and in show prompt I'm going to use a class called um, alert dialog um, I'm going to use the builder class of the alert dialog um, class, so the builder inner class. I'll call that builder and I'll set that equal to a new um, builder like this, a new alert dialog dot builder. And, and the context here is just going to be this. It's just a reference to the activity. And I'll add the import there with control shift O. And now I can use the builder to create my dialogue. And what you do is you set various options on the builder. And then finally, when you finish, you call builder.create, which returns your alert dialogue. An alert dialogue just being a kind of dialogue that alerts people to things. And it can have um, an OK and a cancel button. Or in this case, just an OK button. And uh, once I've created it, I'm going to call dlg.show to actually show the dialogue. And now here I want to set a few options. So I want to set builder dot um, set um, positive button. And this, if you do set positive button, the set positive button and also set negative button. And a positive button adds like an OK button and the negative button like a cancel button, basically. So I'll use that. And um, I need some um, some text here. Um, for the button, so I'll just, I'm just going to put OK. So they're going, to, they're going to click OK to confirm that they've read this. And here I need an on-click listener, so I'm going to type new on-click listener. And this um, this dialog interface dot on-click listener, this code is going to run in this method of this this um, class. This is going to run when the user clicks that button. And uh, actually, I don't I don't really need to do anything there. I don't think so. I might just leave that empty and let's just add the import with Control Shift O. And I want dialog interface to on click listener. There we go. So that will add my OK button. And I want to say builder.set title and let's say um, create your pass point sequence. I'm kind of inventing terminology here. I don't know if there is standard terminology for this. And builder dot set uh, message touch um, let's say touch four points on the image to set the pass point sequence. And uh, I'm not sure how much text we can fit on here. We could say you must enter. You must click the same points in future to gain access to your notes. Let's see what that looks like. Um, I'm not really sure if it's uh, if it's too much text for the dialogue. Let's have a look. 
and uh, let's click save and just click run and we'll take a look in the emulator here and um, later on we're going to add a facility for resetting the password and we're going to make it, of course we have to add the code that goes to the actual um, note screen as well but for the moment i just like to pop up the dialogue so hopefully in a second and here we go create your passpoint sequence touch four points on the image to set the passpoint sequence you must click the same points in future to gain access to your notes okay so it looks good and we just got a basic dialogue and we've got the ok button because we um, called set positive button and uh, we could have a cancel button with set negative button as well so that's that and if I click OK it just goes away and it will run whatever's code in the, whatever code is in there which we probably won't actually need um, in this application so that's it for this tutorial and um, just a very simple um, dialogue there and until next time happy coding <laughs>